Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And today I want to show you how from one function, one buggy function, we can get three totally different error messages and why it's important to pay attention to these messages. So I'm now going to define this function and I'm telling you in advance, this function will not work. So I'm going to say here, def my fun. I'm just going to say, blah, blah, blah. Now, the first thing to notice is I got no error whatsoever when I defined this function. You can define a function with a completely non-existent variable, non-existent function, what we would call an identifier in Python, Python parlance, and it compiles, it created a function. If I say, what is the type of my func? No error whatsoever. How can this be? How can it be that Python will allow me to define such a function? The answer is that names are checked at runtime. Only when I actually execute the function will Python check to see, hey, what is that name, blah, 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 and then give us an error. And indeed, if I say here, my func, it gives me the error, a name error. And a name error means I tried to find this name and I couldn't find it anywhere. And as usual, when looking for names in Python, because we were inside of a function, it first looked for a local variable. It said, hey, is there a local variable called blah, blah, blah? The answer is no. So it said, okay, is there a global variable named blah, blah, blah? The answer is no. Is there a built-in name blah, blah, blah? The answer is no. And then it gives up throwing up its hands and giving us this exception, name error. If we get a name error from running our function, it means the function actually ran. It means the function body actually ran. Here it's a very small body, right? It's only one line, but it actually did run and it failed during that run. Okay, so that's the first kind of error we can get. What's another kind of error I can get? Well, if I say here, my func of, and then I'll say here, 10, 20, 30. Now you'll notice that when I defined my func, it was defined with zero parameters. And here I'm passing three arguments, which I presumably want to be mapped to those parameters. What's gonna happen now? And the answer is I'm gonna get an error, but I'm gonna get an error here when Python tries to call the function. So it takes the function name, it takes those arguments, it calls the function, it tries to assign those arguments to the parameters, but it says, wait a second, this function takes zero positional arguments and you provided three positional arguments. I don't have any way to map those. I don't have any way to uh, assign 10, 20, and 30 to any variables in the function signature. And so it fails. Here, the function did not actually run, or at least the function body did not run. Python tried to invoke the function, but it wasn't able to do that because of the mismatch between arguments and parameters. So if you get this kind of error, right, it's a different kind of thing that happened from before. But there's a totally different kind of error that I can get. I can say my func of, and watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say a equals 10, and then I'm gonna say 20. And here I get a completely different error. I get a syntax error. In other words, Python is trying to break apart the, it's trying to parse, it's trying to understand the code that I wrote. It says, okay, I've got this my func. I know what that is, but wait, 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 wait. Here, I've got two arguments. The first argument is a keyword argument. And keyword argument means that it says name equals value. And that's what we have, a equals 10. Keyword arguments are totally, totally fine, but they have to come after after all of the positional arguments, positional arguments being those without any name equals before them. And you're never ever allowed in Python to have keyword arguments before positional arguments. So in this case, the function body did not run, but we didn't even try to call the function. We didn't even get to the point where we're trying to map the arguments to the parameters because here we have a syntactic problem. And so these three different error messages point to three different stages in running of a function. We have the, can we break things down and then figure out what needs to be done? That's like the initial thing. We have the, oh, we have arguments, we have a function, let's try to call it, oh wait, this doesn't match the function signature. And then we have the, oh, well, we're gonna call the function, but there's a problem within the function. I know it's a real pain to read error messages and to pay attention to them. Usually it's easy to just say, I don't know, something went wrong. If you do pay attention to the error messages, and especially, especially in the most recent versions of Python where there have been big improvements in error messages, paying attention to them will not only help you to solve the problem, it'll give you more insights into what Python is doing behind the scenes and how you can write better code and write code with fewer bugs in it. I hope this was interesting and useful. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below. 
and I will be back very soon with more videos on Python, pandas, and everything in between. See you then.